Welcome. Today we're going to find the volume of a hexagonal prism. Shout out to Topher. Hexagonal prism. So in order to find the volume of any prism, you have to find the area of the base multiplied by the height. So if this were a cylinder, you would do the area of the circle times the height. If this is a hexagonal, you gotta find the area of the hexagon times the height. So the area of a base times the height for any volume of a prism. Well, how do you find the area of a hexagonal prism? I have an example here. Here we have the base, and then we have the height, and then right there. So I have this example here to show you. These are my both of my son's um, magnet blocks. And when I'm playing with them, I like to show this to them. And you can see we have a regular hexagon. Regular means all these sides are equal. All these sides here are four, okay? So this should really say the volume of a regular hexagonal prism, Topher. And you can see that it is made up of six congruent triangles. So if you find the area of just one of those triangles, you can multiply it by six and you have the area of the base. So you gotta find the area of the base multiplied by the height. So if this were like filled with jelly beans, like in a jar, and you're in Boy Scouts or, or some kind of competition, usually perhaps at Easter, you would find, you would count the number of jelly beans or whatever they have here, and then find the average height going up. You would do a couple different heights going up and then take the average of those. And this is how I won when I was uh, in sixth grade. I think I, I could have been younger, but I count at the bottom and then I found the average heights going up. Then you multiply the area of the base times the height and you could win. So that's what we're gonna do. Area of the base times the height. Now I want you to see this. We can decompose this regular hexagon into six congruent triangles. So let's find the area, and this base is cloned from right here. You see, they show from here to here is 3.5, and then the side length is four. How do I know it's four? Because it shows right here. So the area of a triangle, one triangle, is base times height divided by two. We divide by two because see how this is a parallelogram? See that's a parallelogram? And base times height, never the slant height, always the perpendicular height, gives you the area of this whole triangle and then we divide it by two, or base times height gives you the area of this whole parallelogram and then we divide it by two just to get the uh, triangle. So that's why the formula works there. So four times 3.5 is 14. And then 14 divided by two is seven. So the area of one triangle is seven, but we have six of them. So seven times six is 42. Now we have the area of the base is 42 centimeters squared. Then we multiply it by the height and we have our answer. So uh, what I did was to find this volume, it's the area of the base times the height this big B means area of the base. And to find the area of the base, I did uh, four times 3.5 divided by two and then multiplied by six. When you get really good, you'll see divide by two multiplied by six turns out to be three. So the way I do it is I go four times 3.5 and then instead of dividing by two and multiplying by six, I just go times three because dividing by two times six is really multiplying by three. And then multiply by the height of 15. Th uh, yeah, this is, so this is the area of the base. No, wait, yeah. This is the area of the base right here. That's the area of the base and that's the height. So the area of the base is this times the height. And when you do it, hopefully you've, you've done it, you get the volume equals 42 times 15 and then the volume equals 630 centimeters to the third power, centimeters cubed. The volume of this, you do the area of the base times the height. 
area of the base times the height. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Radius is from here to here. Let me draw it. That's the radius. So pi is 3.14, so pi, 3.14 times the radius squared times whatever height this is gives you the volume of a cylinder. So that is interesting to know. Thanks, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you, Topher.